allergies can be a diner's worst nightmare, from hidden ingredients to secret sauces. Now a new device from Six Sensors Lab, a California-based startup, is looking to change all that. I wanted to put the power of knowing what I'm eating in the hands of consumers and really empowering people to know exactly what they're putting in their body. Shireen Yates started the food sensor company with her classmates at MIT after suffering from her own allergies. We got together with this concept of really creating something that on the spot, at the table, you could take a sample and quickly know whether or not the food that you're trying to avoid is in that sample. The portable gadget called NEMA currently detects for gluten, but the company plans to extend to peanut and dairy allergies in 2017. It's a chemistry-based sensor. Imagine almost a mini lab that you're carrying around with you. And there's two parts to it. There's a disposable capsule. So you take a sample of food and put it in this disposable capsule. The action of closing this top grinds the food as you put it in this, in this um, capsule. And then we throw it into the sensor and then in a few minutes, turn it on, in a few minutes you know yes or no. If there's gluten found, the device will give you a sad face. And if there's not, you will get a smiley face. Oh, we got a smiley oh, face Oh, we got here. a smiley face. Yeah, so okay. that is good to go. Yeah, so you're good with your okay. internship. Yeah. Yates says the device is 99.5% accurate in detecting gluten. And the cost runs about $249 for the sensor and $3.99 for the disposable units. So what are you finding when products are labeled gluten-free? Are yeah. you finding that they truly are gluten-free? Like, what's the percentage when you do these tests? That's a great question. We found that about less than 5% of the products, packaged foods that we're testing, um, actually that are labeled gluten-free, have gluten in them, which is, is nice to know, right? It's, it's, unfortunately, it's not 0%, but it's, it's less than 5%. However, when we test restaurant foods, which we think the majority of our users will be testing, about 20% of dishes that have been labeled as gluten-free come up positive for gluten. The devices are expected to hit the market in a few months, and Yates hopes her product will soon become a restaurant staple. I think that when you go out and eat in a restaurant, you will see you know, as common as utensils, you'll see a meme on every table, you'll see people carrying around disposables, and we're going to get smarter and smarter about how food affects us, so we absolutely have to give and provide better data so we can make more informed decisions about how we eat. I'm Jade Scipioni for FoxBusiness.com.